So I think that's it. This is the best low profile mechanical keyboard out there. It truly ticks all the boxes and fixes all the issues I ever mentioned regarding low profile mechs. So today, we're looking at the Air 75 by NewFi, a 75% low profile mechanical keyboard that features a CNC aluminum case, side RGB LEDs, 2.4 GHz and Bluetooth wireless connectivity options, hot swap switch sockets, Cherry MX compatible stabilizers, PBT keycaps, and more. I've been daily driving it for the past weeks, and I can say that this is the low profile mech that I've been waiting for, and it's not even that expensive. Anyway, let's have a closer look. I think this is the most premium low profile board that I've ever seen. We have a CNC aluminum top case in this space gray color. The finish is top notch here. The keyboard flexes a tiny bit, but doesn't squeak, and overall the build is pretty solid. Then on both sides, there are LED strips, and there are multiple LEDs in there, so depending on the mode, you get this fading effect, which I think looks really good. It's also super well diffused, you can't really see the individual LEDs. The keyboard has a relatively flat angle, although comfortable, given that the front is really low too, but there are magnetic feet that can be installed to have it a bit more angled if preferred. Then the underside is a semi-transparent plastic shell, so you can sort of see the PCB and magnets. There's also a pretty nice polish plate with some branding on it, and finally, at the back, you get a USB-C port for charging and wired connectivity, then a toggle button to switch between wired, Bluetooth, and 2.4 GHz modes, and another toggle to switch between Mac and Windows layouts. So in terms of layout, this is a super compact 75% layout, featuring a function row, dedicated arrow keys, and a few navigation keys as well. It's great to keep things compact, but it's not the best for typos, as there are no spaces between key groups. But still, at least they went with relatively standard keycap sizes, so swapping keycaps is a possibility. Speaking of keycaps, the included ones are the best out of all low-profile boards, mainly because they're PBT and legends are die sublimated. So this has the downside of not letting light shine through, but the legends will last much longer like that. As for the colored keys, they're actually reverse die sublimated. The only thing that I can point out that is not too great is that not all keys are well centered. As an example, the D key is quite off, but apart from that, they're pretty nice. This profile is also new to me, all rows are the same, which I think makes sense for a low profile board, but if you don't like that, you'll be happy to know that it's possible to replace keycaps on this keyboard, as the switch stems and stabilizer placements are Cherry MX compatible. That's actually really nice, as Cherry profile keycaps look pretty good on this board in my view, and that opens the doors for customizability. Now to switches, you get Gateron low profile mechanical switches. So these are true mechanical switches, not optical, and there's a limited selection between reds, blues, and browns. This specific unit has reds, and they feel decent. I'm assuming they could be opened up and lubed, and that wouldn't be too hard given that this board is hot swap. I don't think there's a huge selection of third-party switches that fit these sockets, but at least you could replace a broken switch without desoldering. As for the stabs, they're cherry style but with less travel. They were factory lubricated, and honestly, they sound and feel pretty good overall. The spacebar isn't perfect, but the other keys are pretty good. I would say that it's one of the best sounding low profile boards I've tested out of the box. For LEDs, the side lights and the actual back lighting can be controlled independently. So for side lights, that'll be with function, 
question mark and the arrow keys, you can change the effect, the colors and the brightness. And for the switch lights, you get the same controls, but this time the key combo is function plus arrow keys. You don't get key by key colors or a software to customize them more in depth, but I personally don't mind really, especially when used wirelessly, I would keep LEDs off to improve the battery life. So now to wireless connectivity, NewFi added 2.4 GHz support to this board, which is really exciting as it's typically more reliable than Bluetooth. I tested their first board some time ago and it was the best Bluetooth mechanical keyboard that I had tested and still to this day. Well, the Air 75 is also very good over Bluetooth. That's what I've been using it with for the last weeks and hiccups are very rare. There's no lag and no latency, but what's really good is the auto sleep management. The keyboard rarely disconnects in comparison with something like Keychron keyboards, where you need to turn off auto sleep to get a decent Bluetooth experience, but then battery life may suffer. The keyboard reconnects super fast. It almost feels like a Logitech or Apple product in terms of how well it works in that regard. As for 2.4 GHz, it does perform well and lag is reduced even more. It does feel very direct and I wouldn't be able to tell the difference compared to wired. So that's something. I feel like it would be a great option for casual gaming or if you don't want to bother with potential reconnection issues with Bluetooth. And finally, for battery life, I've been using it at work for about a week and I would say you can probably expect 3 days with LEDs on and maybe a full week when off. Keep in mind, these were like 10 or 12 hour days as I worked on the other stuff during the evening. So I would say the battery life is as expected overall if we compare it against other mech boards, but it's not as good as Logitech or Apple keyboards as an example. So in conclusion, if you're looking to get the best low profile mechanical keyboard, to me, the Air 75 by NewFi is a clear winner. Not only it looks great and feels premium, but the Cherry MX support, decent keycaps, aluminum build, and extensive wireless support are features that I personally highly value with this keyboard. I think it retails for 109 USD, so that's a really decent price, but maybe that's the pre-order price too. But honestly, even at 150, I would still recommend it. It's so far ahead of other low profile options that I don't think it even compares. So yeah, amazing keyboard. And as usual, I'll have a link down below if you're interested. So that's it for today, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the like button if you did and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, as I'll see you in the next video.